Problem number 251. Problem number 252. Problem number 253. Problem number 251. The two vertical rods attached to light rigid bar in the figure are identical except for length. Before the load W was attached, the bar was horizontal and the rods were stress-free. Determine the load in each rod if W is equal to 6,600 pounds. Using the word light rigid bar, iasum natin na negligible na yung weight ng rigid bar. At sinabi din na identical yung rad A at rad B except sa length. Therefore, yung area at modulo sa elasticity ng rad A at rad B is equal. Bago daw natin i-apply yung load W ay horizontal yung rigid bar. After i-apply, itong load W ay mag elongate yung rad A at rad B. Sabihin natin na ito yung magiging final position ng bar after i-apply yung load W. And by presenting that into a diagram, yung horizontal line is yung original position ng bar bago i-apply yung load W. At yung line na to is yung magiging final position ng bar after i-apply yung load W. At this point, yung displacement from original to final position ng bar is the deformation or elongation of rad A. And at this point, the displacement from original to final position ng bar is the deformation or elongation of rad B. By performing similar triangle, makakagawa tayo ng deflection equation. Yung maliit na triangle na to is similar sa malaking triangle na to. Therefore, the deformation at A over 4 is equal to deformation at B over 8. At may magagawa tayong equation na deformation at A is equal to 0.50 deformation at B. I-denote natin to as equation 1. Next step, i-take naman natin yung pre-body diagram nitong rigid bar at ipakita lahat ng forces na nag a sa rigid bar. Yung mga forces na nag a sa rigid bar is yung tensile force ng rad A, yung tensile force ng rad B, yung weight na 6,600 pound, at yung reaction ng pin support dahil walang horizontal force na nag act sa bar therefore walang horizontal force yung reaction sa point O by taking all counterclockwise as positive summation of all moment acting at point O is equal to zero yung PA pag nagrotate siya sa point O counterclockwise same sa PB pero yung weight na 6,600 pag nagrotate siya sa point O counterclockwise kaya negative PA times moment arm, 4 feet, plus PB times moment arm, 8 feet, minus 6,600 times 10 feet is equal to 0. I-denote natin yung equation na to as equation 2. Going back to equation 1, the formula of deformation is equal to PL over AE. I-substitute lang natin yung formula na to sa equation na to. PL over AE of rad A is equal to 0.50 PL over AE at rad B. Pero di ba stated sa problem na identical yung rad A at rad B. Therefore, equal yung kanilang area at equal yung kanilang modulus of elasticity. Since common term yung value na AE sa magkabilang term na equation, pwede na natin siyang i-cancel. Ang matitira na lang is yung PA times length 4 feet times 12 para maging inches is equal to 0.50 PB times length 6 feet times 12 para maging inches. At may magagawa tayo na equation na PA is equal to 0.75 PB. I-denote natin to na equation 3. Going back to equation 2, pwede na natin i-substitute yung equation 3. Using equation 2, PA, ang value ng PA is 0.75 PB multiplied by 4, eto yon plus PB times 8 is equal to 6,600 times 10. Inilipat ko lang sa kabilang side ng equation. Kapag pinag-add yung dalawang term na to na may value na PB, ang answer is 11 PB is equal to 66,000. Therefore, PB or the internal force at rad B is equal to 6,000 pound. Dahil meron na tayong value ng PB, pwede na natin makuha yung value ng PA using equation 2 or equation 3. Pero para mas mabilis, yung gagamitin na lang natin is yung equation 3. PA is equal to 0.75 PB. 
At ang value ng PB is 6,000 pound. And the value of PA or the internal force at rad A is equal to 4,500 pound. Problem number 252. The rigid bar ABCD shown in the figure is pin at B and connected to two vertical rods. Assuming that the bar was initially horizontal and the rods is stress-free, determine the stress in each rod after load P 20 kips is applied. Kapag hinila natin pababa yung bar dito sa point B, magro-rotate yung bar dahil merong pin support sa point B. mag -e elongate yung aluminum rod at mag -e elongate din yung steel rod. And as stated sa problem, initially, horizontal yung bar bago pa i-apply yung load P. Sabihin natin na eto yung magiging final position ng bar after i-apply yung load P. Eto ngayon yung diagram presentation ng figure natin. Eto yung original position ng bar at eto naman yung magiging final position ng bar after i-apply yung load P. At sa point na to, yung displacement from original to final position ng bar is equal sa deformation of aluminum, same as sa deformation of steel. Using similar triangle sa diagram na ginawa natin, meron tayong magagawa na deflection equation. Deformation of aluminum over 4 is equal to the deformation of steel over 2. And the deformation of aluminum is equal to twice of deformation of steel. Using the formula, deformation is equal to PL over AE, isubstitute lang natin yung formula na to sa deflection equation na nagawa natin. PL over AE of aluminum is equal to twice of PL over AE of steel. The force of aluminum times length, 4 feet, times 12 para maging inches, over area of aluminum 0 0.75, multiplied by modulus of elasticity, 10 times 10 to the 6 PSI, is equal to 2, multiplied by force of steel, times length of steel, 3 feet, times 12 para maging inches, over area, times modulus of elasticity. Therefore, PAL is equal to 45 over 58 PST. I-denote natin yung equation na to as equation 1. I-take naman natin yung free body diagram ng rigid bar at ipakita lahat ng forces na nag a sa bar. The tensile force of aluminum rod, the reaction due to pin support at B, the tensile force of steel rod, and the applied load na 20 kips. By applying summation of all moment acting at point B, taking all counterclockwise as positive is equal to zero, yung PAL, pag nag-rotate sa point B, ang rotation niya is counterclockwise, kaya positive. Yung PST naman, kapag nag-rotate sa point B, ang rotation niya is counterclockwise, kaya positive. Yung 20 kips kapag nag-rotate sa point B, ang rotation niya is counterclockwise, kaya negative. From equation 1, PAL is equal to 45 over 58 PST, isubstitute lang natin yung value na to sa equation na to. Then, ang answer ng PST na makukuha nyo is 15,675.68 pound. Isubstitute lang natin yung value ng PST sa equation 1 para makuha yung value ng PAL. Then, the value of PAL is equal to 12,162.17 pound. Kaya ito naging 20,000 because kips is equal to kilo pound. Dahil yung value ng stress ng aluminum at steel yung hinahanap sa problem na to, gagamitin lang natin yung formula na stress is equal to force over area. The stress of steel is equal to force of steel over area of steel. By substituting the value of force of steel and area of steel, the value of stress of steel is equal to 31,351 PSI or pound per square inch or equal din siya sa 31.35 KSI or kilopound per square inch. And solving for the value of stress of aluminum is equal to 16.22 KSI. Problem number 253. As shown in the figure, a rigid beam with negligible weight is pin at one end and attached to two vertical rods. The beam was initially horizontal before the load W equal to 50 kips was applied. Find the vertical movement of W. Same sa mga naunang problem, itong rigid bar is horizontal bago pa i-apply itong load na W. I-denote natin yung location ng pin support as point O. 
At dahil meron ditong pin support, magro-rotate ngayon yung bar dito sa point O. Sabihin natin na ito yung magiging final position ng bar after i-apply yung load na W. At kapag dinowing yung figure, by means of diagram, ganito yung kanya magiging itsura. This is the original position of the bar bago pa i-apply yung load na W. And this is the final position of the bar after i-apply yung load na W. And at this point, the displacement from original to final position of the bar is also equal to the deformation of bronze. Pero sa point na to, tawagin natin yung point na to as point A. This is just simply the displacement at point A. At ito yung hinahanap sa problem. Using this figure, gumamit lang tayo ng similar triangle para magawa yung ating deformation equation. Yung malit na triangle na to ay equal sa malaking triangle na to. Therefore, the deformation of bronze over 3 feet is equal to the deformation of steel over 12 feet. At kapag sinimplify yung equation na to, the deformation of bronze is equal to 0.25 deformation of steel. Using the formula, deformation is equal to PL over AE, isubstitute lang natin yung equation na to sa deformation equation na nagawa natin. By substituting lahat ng values na meron tayo, the force of bronze times length of bronze 3 feet times 12 para maging inches over area of bronze 2 inches squared multiplied by modulus of elasticity 12 times 10 to the 6 PSI is equal to 0 0.25 force of steel multiplied by length over area times modulus of elasticity of steel. At ang magagawa natin na equation, the force of bronze is equal to 40 over 29 force of steel. I-denote natin yung equation na to as equation 1. Next step, kunin naman natin yung free body diagram ng rigid bar at ipakita lahat ng forces na nag act sa rigid bar. RO is the reaction of the pin support. PBR is the tensile force of bronze. PST is the tensile force of steel. And the applied W is equal to 50 kips or 50,000 pounds. By taking all the summation of all moment acting at point O, Taking all counterclockwise as positive is equal to 0, yung PBR and PST, kapag iminomet natin yan sa point O, ang rotation na makikreate niyan ay counterclockwise, kaya positive silang dalawa. At yung rotation na moment na maproproduce ng W sa point O is clockwise, kaya negative, kasi ang ina natin na positive ay yung counterclockwise. PBR times moment arm, 3 feet, minus 50,000 times moment arm, 8 feet plus PST times 12, yung moment arm, 12 feet, is equal to 0. Using the value of PBR na nakuha natin sa equation 1, isubstitute lang natin yung value na to dito sa equation na to. Para yung maging unknown lang na value sa equation na to is yung value ng PST. After natin, isubstitute yung value ng PBR, pag plusin lang natin yung dalawang term na merong PST. At ang makukuha natin na value ng PST is 24,786.33. Sa problem na to, kahit yung value lang ng PST or yung value ng PBR ang kunin mo. Using this diagram again, gumamit lang tayo ulit ng similar triangle na kung saan naman ang kasama sa equation na magagawa natin is yung delta A. Dahil yung force ng steel, yung value na meron tayo, ang pag equate natin is yung triangle na to at yung triangle na to. Delta A over 8 feet is equal to the deformation of steel over 12 feet. Delta A is equal to 8 over 12 deformation of steel. 8 over 12 multiplied by force of steel, nakuha na natin, 24,786.331 multiplied by length, 10 feet times 12 para maging inches over area of steel, 0 0.50 inches squared multiplied by modulus of elasticity, 29 times 10 to the 6 PSI. Therefore, delta A is equal to 0 0.13676 inches and this is also the vertical movement of W.